today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions, but we're giving them a little bit of a twist. New Year's resolutions, if you're grieving or if you are the loved one of somebody who is incarcerated. If you're interested, please keep watching. Hello, my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, this scarf is giving me all the feels. It's also giving me all the allergies, but let's keep this positive today. My sister accidentally left this at my house during Christmas, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wear it on a video once before I give it back. Duh. Thanks, Chris. So I don't know if it's transpiring on camera right or if I look like I broke my neck, but totally adorable in real life. For you guys that are new here, my name is Ro. I am a life coach. I am the founder of the nonprofit organization, Strong Prison Lives and Families. I have been involved with a man who's incarcerated for over a decade. And I am the author of the goal setting and confidence book, The Comeback Code. And I have thousands of women and men who tell me daily that they would never have been able to survive the journey of being a prison wife without me, which hashtag humbling. So if you're a prison wife or a family member who needs support or you just find my content entertaining, oh, love you. I'm here for you. So let's talk about resolutions. I know this is posting the first week in January, but that's okay. Do you guys know the number one New Year's resolution in 2019? Can you take a guess? Put it in the comments below. I'll wait. There's a hint. I'll wait. The number one resolution in 2019 was to lose weight. Okay, so the top 10 resolutions for 2019 were to lose weight, to get organized, to spend less and save more, to enjoy life to the fullest. I love that one. To get fit and stay healthy. To learn something exciting. I also love that one. To quit smoking. To help others in their dreams. To fall in love. And to spend more time with family. Some of these are really, really good. All of them are good, obviously, if it's something that you want to do and a goal you want to set, but some of these are so sweet. I love so many of them, but I thought it would be kind of cool to put our very own prison wife and family member spin on these. So I kind of tweaked it. Maybe let yourself off of the hook because I know, like I said earlier, this is the first week or maybe second week in January, depending on when this posts, but I think it would be super helpful because this is around the time where we start falling off of our resolutions often. As somebody who is a continual, constant gym goer for years and years and years, I always hated the first three weeks of January when I went to conventional gyms before I started group training facilities where I just knew that it was gonna be overcrowded, there were gonna be so many people there, which is awesome that so many people set goals, but I also knew wait until the third week of January and things would die down. This is kind of good to let yourself off of the hook because along with making those resolutions and diving into the pool head first is a lot of guilt and shame associated when you fall off. Because doing something way too much, too fast, too soon, and you're not necessarily all behind it and you feel like it's just what you have to do or should do, Ugh, it leads to a lot of negative thoughts and behaviors. This just kind of lets you off the hook and gives you something to strive for. So if you like this, feel free to share it with a friend or anybody you feel who needs it, whether it be in other prison wife groups or family or friends or somebody you see struggling, falling off of resolutions and really blaming and guilting themselves. Number one, this year I will lose the weight of expecting my loved one to just know exactly how I feel and what I need. Instead, I will empower myself to use my voice and communicate thoroughly and deeply with that person and telling them exactly what we need. And also in wake of losing one of our sisters on Christmas Eve, the whole story is up there, but I also just wanna pass along if this resonates with you, if you have a lot of red flags in your relationship, if you're on the fence and you feel like something's wrong and you have some intuition going on but you wanna deny it, then this year I will lose the weight of a 200 plus pound person, give or take some pounds depending on if they're male, female, skinny, heavy set, muscular, whatever. If they are displaying all of those red flags and something that isn't right, girl, lose that weight. Number two, this year I will stop smoking. Society's expectations that it's time to lose him or her and move on. I will stop 
smoking their stigma. Instead, I will live in a way that's authentic to me, that is above or against society stigma. I will be kind to myself and trust that I will intuitively know when it's time to take a next step. Number three, this year, I will not spend time or energy on being angry or resentful towards people or situations in which I have no control. Instead, I will spend my time and energy on the people that I choose to be around and doing the activities that genuinely bring me joy. I'll partake in activities that empower me and help me along this journey, like we're watching all of Rose videos, just saying, just saying. I will grasp for the silver linings and I will find the positive in the situations, the inevitable situations, that I will just have no control over. I will try my best to keep my cool during the unjust, blatantly unfair, and infuriating ones. Number four, this year I will save my energy by letting go of caring what other people think about me, my life, my decisions, and my relationship. Instead, I will practice the three E's and speak my truth authentically and transparently so that others can be educated, empowered, and empathized with. I will be just as empowered and save my own energy when I choose to remain quiet and keep my personal life personal. Number five, this year I will let go of behaviors and thought patterns that keep me stuck and unable to grow in any area of my life. I will also let go of behaviors and thought patterns that keep me stuck and unable to heal in areas of my life that need healing. Instead, I will trust my intuition and rely on my inner wisdom that reflects my own personal healing powers. Number six, this year I will stop putting myself in my own personal prison. I will let go of the guilt associated with celebrating and being free on the outside while my loved one is locked up. Instead, I will live life to the fullest and start by saying yes to just one invitation. Maybe that'll lead to one invitation a month or I'll just try something new. Number seven, this year, I am going to fall truly, madly, and deeply in love with myself all over again. Instead of putting everybody else first, I will learn to love myself so much that I become a magnet for others to love me the way that I deserve because I'm a queen. And there you have it. There are your top seven flips and New Year's resolutions for prison wives and family members. My love, let yourself off of the hook. My love, speak to yourself in the way that a queen would speak to herself. Look in the mirror, tell yourself you got it, you're letting go of expectations, you're living your life, you are making the best of this situation. He's gonna get out, he's gonna stay out, and you guys are going to live happily ever after. Keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lord knows I am too. And if you think 2020 is my year, give this video a thumbs up and put it in the comments below. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys. Pardon me, my doorbell was ringing. So I had to stop. Then I took a bite of blueberries and protein shakes. So knowing me, I'm gonna have blueberries in my teeth. Are you guys the type of people that tell people when they have food stuck in their teeth or do you feel bad and not tell them? Put that in the comments below as well.